Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Evacuation Point. First batch of Zeds heading your way. Evacuation point's nice. What a, hold up. Hold up. Boat scan line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Scanned. Here. I see scanned lines. Scanned lines is apparently the largest fleet of hybrid ferries in the world from Denmark and Sweden. Um, I'm assuming that this is modeled after one of theirs, and that's what the reference is. Because I always see scan lines here, and I'm like, I don't know. I must be missing something. But apparently, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's from. I'm guessing that's what it's from. I figured, I don't know, maybe it's a... I don't know, a reference to a boat from a game or something, or maybe... Maybe it has some kind of uh, importance for for like I don't know the 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 boat or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with it. It's always bugged me, and now I know. Now I know. Could also just be a coincidence, but <laughs> I'ma take a guess and say it's not. I'ma take a guess and say that that boat. Is modeled after one of the scan lines uh, hybrid fairies. She's cool. Fairies are cool. Boats are cool. I like boats. Perfect. So this when I get hit by a boat. Let's get you restocked. I live by the ocean. Glad you made it back. Been on a boat. Not saying it makes me cooler than somebody who hasn't been on a boat, but I am saying that if you haven't been on a boat, then there's a good chance that that affects the differential of, you know, the, the delta of coolness between the two of us. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. Just saying. I mean, no hard feelings. It's just, just you know. No, but, uh, but boats are fun. I like boats. I want to get one. They're just uh, they're expensive. <laughs> you have to you have to get the boat, and then you have to have a place to put the boat. And then you gotta you know maintain the boat, and you gotta pay for all of the fuel and whatever else. I mean, you can go for a sailboat, I guess, if you want. But I'm pretty sure even sailboats would have uh, some kind of a, a motor on it. If for no other reason than like, why wouldn't you put it on? If if you're getting like, I mean, if you're getting like trying to go like speed sailing, then like you know, you obviously want to minimize that uh, that weight probably, and and uh, I don't know, maybe you don't want to minimize the weight. I don't know. I don't know the the mechanics behind uh, moving a boat on water. I'm an expert on this, but I'm assuming you'd want to minimize the weight. You always do when you're going for speed, right? So it's a lot easier to push something that's lighter than it is to push something that's heavier. So I'm 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 assuming you wouldn't. But like, if you're getting like a sailboat for like hobby purposes or whatever, I'm assuming that most of them are gonna have uh, motors on. Maybe maybe they're not called sailboats at that point. Maybe they're like a, a hybrid boat or something. Um. But like you know, if you're not going for specifically speed or anything, then then there's no real reason to not put it on there. It, it just makes it like safer if something happens to your sail or if uh, the winds are. I mean, you can kind of sail against the wind-ish by like zigzagging, you know. I forget what it's called. I know I have to look this stuff up from time to time. I don't I don't know boat stuff, right? I don't know boat stuff so well, um, but I have to look it up from time to time. So I, I, I would probably reckon I, I, I can recognize the words, um, because like you know in D and D, every now and then there's the opportunity that they might get on a boat, and I'll be like, well, if you're on a boat, then I have to use the boat terms, okay? 
because uh, it, just, it to, to me when I'm playing it makes it just a little bit more immersive when you're on the boat and like everything is in you know boat words <laughs> and uh oh because uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. it just because that's what would happen when you're on the boat right like the the characters would be using the terms that those characters would be using right so it, it, just, it just makes it better for me as, as a player uh, and then also as a DM when when you put in the research and, and do all that it, you just you just feel good and then uh, as a player you also feel good that your DM put in that time it's just like everything everything's good when you when you put in the time to to do that so I, every now and then I have to look up uh, boat terms to, to get an idea of what the heck's what? And, uh. Every now and then. So I, I did recognize words, but I couldn't I couldn't necessarily tell you. It's been a little while since I've had to do it, so so the, the words are, are mostly gone. But I, I, could, I could recognize what. I, I'd know what you mean if you're talking about, you know, boating stuff. Okay, that's the moral story. Anyway, you could sail into the wind. Um, if you, if you just take a zigzag pattern. Because uh, you can't go straight at the wind, right? If the wind is going this way, you know, you can't sail that way, okay? You can't just sail straight that way because the wind is pushing against you. But you can kind of sail like that way because the wind is kind of not pushing directly against you. So you can kind of get some, some movement in that direction and kind of like keep crossing it back and stuff takes forever and it's super slow but um, I, I believe don't quote me on it I'm not a sailor but I, I, I believe that you can do it but you know you could also just have a motor on your boat and then you know <laughs> who, need, who needs wind when you got uh, fossil fuel am I right You got solar power motors on a boat? Probably, right? Electric engines on uh, electric motors, I guess. On um, boats? Probably, right? I mean, that makes sense to me. You know? I mean, does it? Does it make sense to me? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it does make sense to me. Because on the one hand, you've got... Uh, more, you know, eco-friendly. On the other hand, especially on like, uh, not like a professional cruise liner, like you know, on, on a, on, if you're on a ferry or something like that, like the chances of falling off and landing in the water is like zero, right? Well, not zero, but like, assuming you're not jumping off the damn railings, like you're not gonna fall off, right? Um, but like. I don't know if you're getting your own little personal boat. If there, if there's, I don't know. It just, it just feels like putting electrical right next to salt water, like that. Might be bad. But I don't know. I, I think that salt water is a good conductor, though, right? I know that water is actually not a conductor. A lot of people think that water conducts electricity. Actually, it doesn't. It's um, it's all the stuff in the water. That's why you can get like uh, if you get like you get you you you've, you've heard of like mineral oil PCs. If you've heard of that, it's a, it's like a PC in like a fish tank with uh, that's filled with mineral oil, and then uh, you just you just put the PC in it and it just works. Uh, you have to clean the oil out from time to time because contaminants will get in and then those contaminants will mess up your board. But the reason that the, the mineral oil PC works in the first place um, is because it's non-conductive. So when when when, when the, the PC components are touching the mineral oil, it doesn't matter because it's non-conductive. Like, to the, to the motherboard, mineral oil is no different to like air you know what I mean like they're both just fluids right they don't they don't really have any 
different. It's not like they're moving or anything like that. The fans are moving. Right? The fans move, but uh, mineral oil is also, like, you know, natural. Well, not natural. Well, I guess it is a natural lubricant. But anyway, it's, it's a lubricant, so it's a. Uh, it keeps them, keeps the fans running smoothly, even though they're under extra strain from having to be under oil and moving and stuff. And you still want them to move to circulate the, the oil around the case to, to cool it down. Um, but yeah, the reason that it works is because the mineral oil is non-conductive. But as dust and skin follicles and metals and, and bits fall into the the mineral oil. Um, it will contaminate the mineral oil. Those will be con those bits of whatever that fall in will be conductive, and that can mess up your computer. Now the bits that are falling in are like tiny, so you need you need like a lot of them for it to actually like make a like short something. Uh, so it's not like you have to clean it like every day or something, but you still have to clean it fairly frequently. I mean, you should be cleaning your computer fairly frequently anyway, but when your computer is filled with mineral oil, it makes it a bit harder. Uh, but what I'm what I'm getting at here is that uh, you can actually do that with just water too. If you get uh, if you get distilled water. Like pure distilled water. Just just straight up H2O. You can you can do the same thing. It'll work because exact same thing. Water isn't conducted. Um, the only reason people do mineral oil instead of water is because water is a lot better at picking up all of the, the stuff and, and you know becoming conductive. <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot easier to make a bucket of water, you know, very, very good at conducting electricity, uh, than it is to make a bucket of mineral oil very, very good at conducting electricity. Um, so you don't, uh, you don't do it. Like that would, that would work for like almost no time. I, mean, I don't know. Like you might be able to get it working for like a day or two, maybe a week or something. But uh, don't, don't do it. <laughs> There's a reason people don't do it. Well, we'll, we'll leave it that way. But it's, that's also kind of why, like, if uh, if your phone gets wet or something like that, if you just let it dry off, it's probably fine. Like a, even even if your phone isn't waterproof, even if it's not rated for for like water resistance, if it gets a little wet and it just like shuts down like that, and then you don't turn it back on immediately and you let it like dry out completely, it could take like a couple of weeks. Don't put it in rice, okay? Rice doesn't pick up moisture. If it did, it wouldn't stay dry, okay? Like it's, it's, it's just why why I don't know why people think that rice sucks up moisture from the air when when they just store rice and then it's not like wet when they get back to it like what what moisture is it picking up it's just leaving rice dust on your on your phone and that's going to ruin it um but just leave it on like a like take it apart if you if you can and then uh, leave it on I don't know some paper towel or a cloth or something and just leave it there for I don't know a week two weeks until it's completely dry pretty good chance it'll work again because water isn't really that big a deal to electronics generally speaking anyway I just have to, you have to you have to go okay. This is a hard map. I don't know why, but like I find this map so hard. Um. So anyway, I just I don't know if um. Okay, right, yeah. So moral moral of the story is uh, I'm pretty sure that salt water is a good conductor though. Because uh, the salt in the water, and then like turning it into that salt water. Turn makes it conductive, I think. Um, so, like, the ocean is, is fairly conductive, I believe. You be dead. I believe. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but I, I believe it is. So, putting, like, a solar panel and then, like, all that electrical right next to your boat, especially if it's, like, a boat that you're going to be taking out and, like, swimming around. And I don't know. It just, it just, it feels, feels wrong to me. Whereas, uh, 
you know, a, a more classic motor doesn't have electrical in it really at all. Especially not in in enough. Is it voltage or enough current or I don't know. I don't know electrical, but especially in a there's there isn't really enough to actually like hurt you. Anyone bring a giant fan? I can't see a black thing out here. I don't know. Probably probably isn't enough when you have an electrical motor either. When you're you know in the huge body of water. I don't know. Is it, is it going to go for you? Is that really where ground is? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know any of this kind of stuff. It just to me, I get a gut feeling that maybe it might not be so good. But then I also get a gut feeling that, like, dude, that's the perfect place for a solar panel. Protect the area. Obviously, ships have electrical in them. Okay. It's just when when you're putting it right at your uh, when you're putting it right, you know, in the water. Is it just it just it feels for for me it's sending off some like I don't know this feels bad, but I'm uneducated. Who is this mysterious? I mean I want a boat. That's that's really the the moral of the story here is I like boats. I like fishing. I find fishing enjoyable. I don't go fishing like often at all. It's it's been years since the last time I went fishing. In fact. I, I really genuinely don't go fishing very much at all. Like, like there has to be like an event for it, you know. Like it has to be like, a, hey, we're gonna go fishing, you know. But uh, it's not for lack of want; it's for lack of ability. I don't like fishing um, at like a dock or a pier or something like that. Like, there's lots of places where I could go fishing. Um. Don't require a boat, but for me, it's just I, I've done that before. I, I just I really like the whole like you're sitting on the boat, you've got your line out, you're kind of just drifting around, listening to the ocean crashing at the side of your boat, kind of lightly. You know, it's not very hard because you certainly don't want it crashing very hard against the side of your boat while you're. But you got little ripples that are kind of splashing around. You might have a couple of seagulls, depending on how far off the coast you are. Fish moving around. Maybe a couple of whales. It's just, it's a really relaxing experience for me. When you're on a, you know, a cliff or a river or a pier or something, it's just, a, it doesn't get the same level of... You're staying in one piece. That's great. Um... Like relaxing for me. Does it doesn't do it for me? Doesn't do it for me. At that point, it feels more like 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 hunting, you know. But but passive. <laughs> but not trapping. Like you have to be there, doing it. But it it uh, you know, it's passive. It just I don't know. I don't like. Uh, I'm not into it. I need to be on a boat for it to be fun. And it's mostly probably just because I like boats, to be honest. I won't deny it, alright? I like boats. That's probably, uh, you know, the... Wow, you guys really didn't want to be near that grenade. That's probably why I like fishing on a boat. It's just because I'm on a boat, dude, and that's, like, pretty good on its own. I thought about buying a boathouse a while back. I did, I did. Thought about buying a boathouse. Because they're not too expensive. You know, if you live in an area where, like, real estate isn't very expensive, um, then you might be like, what do you mean? They're, like, insanely expensive. But I live in a place where real estate is quite expensive. And most people don't want to live on a boathouse because it rocks and it makes you sick and... There's a lot of inconveniences that come with it, and like dangers and risks, and you know yada yada yada. So it's really not a place where you live as your like primary residence so much for like permanently, you know. Um, but uh, you know anyway. So they're 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 expensive, but like you know a house, an apartment is four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. 
I watch, uh, you know, YouTubers, Mr. Beast in particular. Um, I'm, sure you, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's he's uh, he's got a couple of subscribers. Uh, I watch all of his videos. I don't I don't like the majority of his videos, honestly. But some of them are good, and oftentimes he'll like I don't know. He's he's given away a house before, you know, and. It's like, yeah, the budget for this was like $100,000. Like, I spent a lot of money. And I'm like, dude, you bought a house. And your budget was $100,000. Like, that won't even get you... You know, that might get you rent for a year or two. <laughs> you know? Like, well, probably like two or three years, really. But it's just... Hearing people buy houses, I got I got a friend who just bought a house and and they're talking about how expensive it is and how they're having to like mortgage it and and yada 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 and they're not sure exactly how they're gonna make it work but they're happy to to be able to own a house and like be on their own and, and blah 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 blah. And I'm like yeah, good for you. If they paid you know under a hundred thousand, I'm like dude. I don't I don't want to say like. You know, you don't get to complain about your house being expensive when it's, you know, $80,000 for the house. But at the same time, I kind of do, you know? $80,000 is like the down payment on a house here. It's not, it's not the house. That's 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 the money you get to, to show them that you're okay buying the house. You know, that's, that's the money you get to show the bank so that they're like, yeah, we can mortgage this for you, you know? Like, it's just, it's such a real estate, man. So that's why I want to move. That's why I want to move. My grandparents kind of necessitate remaining here for now. Just because, I mean, they're old. And I don't want to, like, move and then they die. Because <laughs> that would suck. Um, so, but... If only they could die so I could move away. No, I don't want them to die. But. You want to stay with family, right? You want to stay with the people you care about. Which is why once they're gone, there's nobody else here I care about. No, there is. There are, there are a few people I care about here. But not, not enough for me to not be like, yeah, well, it's okay. We'll just, you know, video chat from time to time. I'd like to move somewhere else in BC, though. Somewhere cheaper. That's my dream. Somewhere I can afford, you know? I need good internet and cheap housing. It's possibly a unicorn. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comments if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.